Audi Roddy Piper. You know, I got a few things to say that uh, <laughs> we had all kinds of people come out and have all kinds of support, and I'd like to say something because sometimes people don't have enough guts to say something back, or sometimes you don't have the opportunity, and I do. You see, what I'm looking at is an Oregonian newspaper here, you see? <laughs> and I'm listening, I'm listening to this uh, reporter here, uh, Mr. Steve Doan, who really thinks he's big time here. <laughs> he's talking about Delma Limberman, a little 82-year-old woman, <laughs> and he says that all these people, including you, he says, are a strange mix of people you never see shopping at Washington Square. <laughs> he says, he says, they, you'll never see them driving fancy sporty cars, they says here. The cars they drive are vintage American models with tar and upholstery and beer cans on the floor in the back. Yeah. The first thing you gotta know about this seat is he tried to get in free. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> and I suppose you, Steve, I suppose you come driving up in a Rolls Royce, right, mister? <laughs> You're talking about Washington Plaza. <laughs> talking about real big shot. You see, what you have done here, what you have done is insult a whole bunch of people <laughs> that I am part of. <laughs> You're talking about torn upholstery. <laughs> You know, you know, junk like this, junk like this, a whole bunch of nothing but lies. You wouldn't even find this junk in the National Enquirer. A guy that writes like this, you could not write for the basket weaving class of 1942, mister. You couldn't do nothing. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, please. This is not for the point. This is just because this guy's a geek, man. You see, he comes up and he says, oh, and I quote, Kirk Henny goes in the ring and all these women are flaunting around him and it just makes them disgusted. What's the problem, Gertrude? No attention. Do you find yourself, Steve, walking in a bar with a hundred dollar bill on your forehead and you can't walk out with a male or a female? <laughs> huh? But why are you ribbing me, man? <laughs> you're talking about what? Are uh, you talking about people? You say, well, you're trying to say is we're low class. The other day, I'm in an arena in Florida, and there's Hank Williams Jr. What you're trying to say is former President Carter's mother, <laughs> Grandma Carter, has got Billy Beer in the back of her car. Is that what you're saying, you geek? <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> yeah. You see, they buy your newspaper. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> oh, you geek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially them. They don't have to impress you. <laughs> you have to impress them. And I want to know something. How does it feel to have an eighth grade education wrestler tell you how to do your job? Ladies and gentlemen, that was Rowdy Roddy Piper, and I want to congratulate that young gentleman for defending the people of the state of Oregon against a very poorly written thing.